offered a CSPL player at the time, so they did house students. Yeah. Thank you for all the hard work. I hope tonight feels fun and joyful and exciting and all the things. And I would love it if our friend Ryan would pray for us. Jesus, thank you so much for this opportunity to have fun, be festive, Lord, but also more than anything to worship. that as we come, uh, let us adore you. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to use our gifts, Lord, uh, musically, leadership in production, Lord, and in creativity um, with our words and with our actions and our hearts. Uh, Lord, go before us. Let us have fun tonight. And uh, more than anything, God, get the glory. It's all for you. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. 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 Right, they're going to clear off, and hopefully the next two minutes or so, JB will pull the amp off and get set, and we'll plan on going out right at 6.30. We'll all come out from this side again, just Stress. like we did. Christmas church. I said Merry Christmas church. How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing tonight? Are y'all ready to have some fun tonight? Would you stand and just wish somebody standing next to you a Merry Christmas? Come on, if you're ready, if you're ready to have a great time tonight, would you take your seat for a moment? <laughs> Is anybody ready to sing with us tonight? Anybody ready to sing with us tonight? I can't hear you. Anybody ready to sing with us tonight? If you're ready, on this side. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. On this side, on this side.
fa la 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 Tis the season to be jolly fa la 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 Don we now our gay apparel fa la 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 Am I right? Um, guys, I do have to say, looking out at the audience right now, some of them look a bit surprised. Surprised? That was a lot to listen to, very complex. Familiar songs done very unfamiliarly. <laughs> so, apt, hey, ben, I was wondering. Apt observation, Kat. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a little abstract. It was a little abstract. So, Ben, I was wondering if maybe we had something a bit more nostalgic, something a bit more classic, one that people really know. You got anything? That's a nice groove. I think we can work with that. Band, you guys have something you can add in? Here we go.
That was real cute, Kat. Thank you. That was you. a cute song. Thank you. That was, that's good. Good job. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I think it's important that we have a serious time tonight. And uh, that's so funny. I think we you pretty well like threw that out the window guy. at this point. I don't, I don't know what you said, but I don't agree. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think it's important to spend some time not smiling, if possible. Um, Every band a needs serious, a bridge. <laughs> maybe a serious look. I know I'm smiling right now, but just ignore that. Um, just a serious look on your face. Let me see some serious faces. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Not good enough, but it's fine. Um, we're going to play a song that I think epitomizes the seriousness of this season. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Right, the spirits of we're here tonight, and that's enough. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The party's on, the feeling's here. It only comes this time of year. Simply. Christmas time, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Come on, it's Christmas. We bring you with us a piece of love to give us a wonderful Christmas time. Come on, it's Christmas. We bring you with us a piece of love to give us a wonderful Christmas time. The world is out. About the town To lift a glass Don't look down Simply having A wonderful Christmas time Simply having A wonderful Christmas time Come on, it's Christmas We bring it with us A piece of love to give us A wonderful Christmas time Come on, it's Christmas
wonderful Christmas time. Come on, it's Christmas. We bring you with us the peace and love and forgiveness. A wonderful Christmas time. Let's sing it. Ready? One, two. One, two. Four, one, two, three, four. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. 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 And we are indeed, are we not? You're right, Samson, that was extraordinarily serious. The kazoos were a very nice touch. Not enough kazoos in our church, I find. I don't want to go off on a soapbox, though. Um, hate to get too political. Uh, in all seriousness, friends, uh, we, we do. We want to welcome you tonight. Uh, we've been planning this concert for months. It's a minor miracle that you got tickets because clearly there's no seats left and that's, um, you know, that's tough. This I don't was think a tough they knew that was a joke. They didn't <laughs> laugh that much. Maybe you should try it again. It's dark in the room. There's a lot of empty seats on the wings, but it's good because the people that came late and didn't get tickets now have a place to sit. So that's wonderful. Um, we, no, we do. We want to welcome you and we want you tonight to, to be able to sit back to relax a little bit, to enjoy yourself, to have some fun. And ultimately, our hope is that you share in the story of Christmas, that we get to experience together the wonderfulness that was our Savior coming to this earth and providing good news and great joy to all people. That's really our hope. And so uh, with that... So with that, uh, we come to one of the, I guess, great joy moments of the evening, and it happens to be the moment about which I am the most nervous. And to explain to you why that is, I'm going to turn it over to Kat Shembry. Hello. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, um, so we're doing a song that everybody knows, the Christmas song. Classic. Right. We've been preparing it. It's great. Um, I went out during, you know, pre-service when everyone's kind of chilling outside in line. And I asked people for parts of speech. You Which know is a totally are. normal way to start a conversation. Yes, it was a great conversation starter. It actually started with, can you do me a favor? So that's how that went. Um, but I got parts of speech and I mad-libbed the Christmas song. So Derek has never seen these lyrics that I got these parts of speech for. And that's why he's so nervous and I cannot wait to see him laugh because every time he laughs, he owes each of us a slice of pizza. Oh, oh I love that, yes. <clears throat> so here's the thing, okay? Uh, I haven't seen these lyrics. No, nobody in leadership has seen these lyrics. So if you have complaints, please know that you did this to yourselves, okay? <laughs> okay, so just to conceptualize this, conceptualize this, Patty, which by the way, our production team is putting this together. Can you give it up for the Woo! best production team? in all of the church right now. We got Patty back there running lyrics for whatever this is going to be. Patty, can we just throw the first one up there? Chestnuts roasting on an open oh, candy cane. that's pretty cane. innocent. That's, I mean, that's innocent enough. So if nice. that's indicative of the direction that we're headed, we might just be okay. So I guess, Ethan, um, if you dare, you know. I practiced this for tens of minutes, Derek. Here we go. Chestnuts roasting on an open candy cane. Jack Frost nipping at your big toe. Man, it makes sense. It makes sense. 
Yuletide carols being sung by a Scottsdale Bible Church school pride. Yeah, and folks dressed up like trees. Everybody knows a dog and some churches. True, true. <laughs> Help to make the... No, 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 no. Look, I don't... Zay, can you bring the house lights up? I don't know who did it, but you should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Pick it up, Ethan. <laughs> Help to make the season blank. <laughs> Tiny tots with their lungs all aglow oh, I love it. will find it hard to tickle tonight. Again, that kind of makes sense, actually. Yeah. They know that Sebastian's on his way. He's loaded lots of apples and bananas on his sleigh. She got that from my kids. And every mother's child <laughs> is going to scream. That's, that is accurate. To see <laughs> if reindeer really know how to yodel. <laughs> and so I'm offering this grumpy phrase. <laughs> to kids from seven to seven. That excludes almost Very everyone specific. in this room. <laughs> yes. Although it's been said many times, I can't wait. A cantankerous Christmas to you. Ethan, let's finish it for real. Here we go. Although it's been said Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Hey, give it up for yourselves, the best songwriters in Scottsdale. Wow. Very unpredictable and fun. That was amazing. And, and Derek, a very cantankerous Christmas to you as well. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. Well, hey, before we uh, transition into our next piece, I would love to pose a question of our audience tonight, if that's okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, then the question is this. Where do gingerbread men sleep? On cookie sheets. Oh, my gosh. Hey, no. Oh. Boo. No. Boo. You guys don't like no. that? No. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, okay, I got another one. I got another one. It goes like this. How did the... Okay, never mind. Let's play the song.
where are all my fans? No, 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 not that. I, yeah, I have to pay everything myself. Many have asked. That's the last time I'll do that.
talking to this. This guy's excited to be here. Hey, Emma, let me see your best smile. Oh, that's so pretty. Ethan's got one. For those of you who said to your kids, you'll never do anything with a piano performance degree. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pretty speechless after that moment. All right, um, uh, we are being joined by some folks on stage right now. And you know, in, in concert seasons like this, Christmas time at the church, wonderful as it is for all of us for the obvious reasons, uh, there are people who make sacrifices apart from those of us standing on stage and those in the production booth in the back. And that's our families. They give a lot of time to make sure we can do, be here to do this for you. And so tonight, right next to me, I am joined for this next song by the children of the worship and creative arts staff at SBC. Would you give it up for them? Now, we have some long-standing traditions at Christmas concerts at, uh, at SBC. Uh, traditions I'm very proud of, and, and one of them is, in one form or another, for literally decades, we have told the Nativity story live on stage. Now, let me just set the right expectation at the outset. We will not have any horses, donkeys, or elephants coming down the aisle. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we will, for your enjoyment today, I guess more appropriately, you will be acting out the Nativity story for us. And so, Zay, if you could bring the house lights up, I'm looking for four kids who will volunteer to come up on stage and join us in the telling of the Nativity story. I've got some folks going down, and they're going to pick you out here. Four kids. We need four kids. Four, one, two, three, four. I'm sorry for the 162 of you who are going to this point. All right, now wait. As you're being selected, as you're being selected, stay right where you are. Carson is sprinting to the back of the room. He's trying to find the marginalized children whose parents showed up late and they had to sit in the back. <laughs> Carson, thank you for your compassion. All right, let's let, wait. Everybody stay right where you are. Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are. All four of you, you know who you are. Before you come up on stage, I need you to grab the hand of a parent or grandparent and bring them up here with you. <laughs> Everybody give them a hand. I think they're gonna need more than that. They just got voluntold they were coming up here. Come on. All right, hello, what's your name? Zella, what a beautiful name, Zella. I, I, I'm gonna have you tonight be our donkey, is that all right? All right, would you put that on? Zella, come on right back here, guys. Hey buddy, what's your name? Demetrius, nice to meet you. You're gonna be our cow if that's all right. Go ahead and put that on, throw that back there. You guys can head over there. Hi there, what's your name? Rosie. Rosie, so nice to see you. Rosie and I are neighbors, we're good buddies. Rosie, you're gonna be our sheep. Can you put this on? And you guys head right back there. And then, hello, what's your name? Rory, so nice to meet you. Rory, this story involves a dove and the company we bought these hats from doesn't actually have a dove. And so instead we got a dragon, all right? So you're gonna be, you're gonna be the nativity dragon. Let me show you a cool trick with this hat, all right? You put it on, these two little things. All right. Okay, so you're gonna take that. You guys are gonna head back here. They're gonna take a moment to strategize because they've never heard this song or seen this song before. And uh, they're gonna help us tell you all the nativity story along with our team and our kids. And so Nate, friends, if you would, take it away. Jesus, our brother, strong and good, was humbly born in a stable root where friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother, strong and good. 
on, boys, join me now. All right, the donkey. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I carried his mother up hill and down. I carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. All right, give it up for our donkey. For the cow! I said the cow, all white and red. I gave him a manger for his bed. I gave him my hay to pillow his head. I said the cow, all white and red. Sometimes simple is better. Give it up! for the sheep. All right, the dragon dove. Guys, in the words of Tom Hanks in my favorite movie, good news, you get to keep the costumes. Give it up one more time as they head back to their seats.
Friends, may we never forget it's not about how effectively, how efficiently we get our Christmas cards out. It's not about whether or not we find that perfect gift or we up ourselves from last year. We make sure that we make our way to every single Christmas party that we are invited to. Those things are all good. They can be fun. They can be wonderful. They can be communal. They can be sacrificial. But so often we get just a little off course. And they can become our first things in this season. And we can forget that our first thing, friends, church, our only thing, is that Emmanuel, God here with us, Jesus. See, we need to remind ourselves every Christmas season of this story because it defies logic, it defies expectation. The God of the universe set aside for eternity if he wanted to in perfect community, decided to come, which that alone is astounding enough. Then when you think about the fact that he could have come as a conquering hero, he could have come as an obvious king in the way we might have expected, but instead, this God, this Jesus, our Emmanuel, God with us, came humbly in the form of a baby. He wasn't born in a palace. He wasn't born in a resort town in the 21st century. He was born in a lowly stable in a feeding trough There was no fanfare outside of a small field in the middle of nowhere. That's the story that we celebrate at Christmas time. And we so love, we we so enjoy getting to put something together like this for you. Like I said, I hope you have fun. I hope you're able to relax. But ultimately, what I said we wanted to do is help you engage in the story of Christmas. And so tonight, as we continue our time together, 
what we want to do is we want to blur the line between performer and audience. We want to blur the line between platform and seats. And we want to reclaim, we want to become once again what we truly are, what we've been all along. And that is the church, the beloved, the sons and daughters of God because of the ministry that that Jesus came here to do. The fact that he lived and more importantly, he died and rose again so that we all might come together and not just applaud and celebrate a concert, but we might celebrate with great joy the good news that is Jesus Christ in our lives. Would you take just a moment and if you can, find somewhere in the recesses of your memory the first Christmas you ever experienced after you bent your knee to Christ Would you remember those first fervors? Would you remember that beautiful zeal? And would it ooze out of you when you leave this place tonight? Would the gospel not just be the story that we hear, but would it be the story that we live? So in that spirit, I'm going to ask that you would do this. I'm going to ask that you would all stand together. We're going to come down and we're going to join you down here. We're going to sing together as the church has done at Christmas time for thousands of years. We're going to sing, we're going to recognize, we're going to celebrate that holy, divine night. So, would we sing together tonight as the church? We sing. Oh, holy night, the stars are bright.
seated this evening. That's what this season is about. That's what it's always been about and that will that's what it'll be about until he returns. Christ by highest heaven adored, the everlasting Lord, condescended to love you, to change your life, to save you. And then through you, by the working of his Holy Spirit, to send that gospel out and continue his work and to save others. That's what we celebrate at Christmas time. And again, as the church, as brothers and sisters in Christ, that is what we celebrate each and every time we gather. And so with that, we've got a few more songs for you tonight. Please keep that in mind as you leave, that that might be the message of our church, that might be the message of every church as we reflect on that silent night, that holy night together.
mostly to just very gently help lead. nothing else uh, we'll get set Tony what time you want to start
Well, hey, thank you all so much for coming. Uh, it's been our pleasure to be up here rocking and rolling for you. Uh, we have one more just little thing. Uh, we discussed as a team, and one of the things that we all have in common is that Christmas Eve was never Christmas Eve in our houses without a little bit of milk and cookies. And so as you make your way out tonight, we have oodles and oodles and oodles of milk and cookies, and we'd love for you to grab some, hang out with each other for a while, be brothers and sisters, and just have a great time. Thank you so much for being here tonight, and have a Merry Christmas. shorter guy up there. He's really good. Uh, I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> so I'm missing five and six. I will hunt them down. 